patients of insomnia, depression, and anxiety, FDA has identified the following key risks of CES from the review of the public docket, manufacturer and user facility device experience, the MOD database, and FDA's literature review, shown here on the next slide. Worsening of the condition being treated as a result of ineffective treatment, potential adverse effects from electrical stimulation of the brain, potential risk of seizure, skin irritation, headaches, and blurred vision. Is this a complete and accurate list of the most significant risks presented by CES? Please comment on whether you disagree with the inclusion of any of these risks or whether you believe any other risks should be included in the overall risk assessment of CES. Let's begin again with Mr. Miller and uh, work our way around. Okay, uh, David Miller, I uh, disagree that it is an accurate list. Um, if these are the major, well, as we said, the worsening of conditions, no. Electrical stimulation, potential adverse events from electrical stimulation in the brain, there's nothing really known right now. Seizures, the only seizures known were in the article where it happened to patients who had not been exposed to the treatment. Um, skin irritation, maybe. Headaches, there's no reports. And blurred vision, no, because that was when they were a long time ago stimulating on the eye. Now, theoretically, yes, you could put that on, but I think with the labeling we have today, it could be said, don't put it on the eyes. Thank you, Dr. Alexandrov. Uh, I, I would concur, except that I would say that um, in terms of potential adverse effects from electrical stimulation of the brain, I'd say we, we just don't know the answer to that because I don't know that we have a lot of data to support any type of longitudinal study of what happens to people that use this continuously over a long period of time. Thank you, Ms. Karras. It's Michelle Karras. I would have to say I agree only with skin irritation, but I would possibly add transient dizziness. I'm pretty much in alignment with everyone else. I think I agree with skin irritation and headaches, and the rest I do not believe we've demonstrated significantly that they are risks. Dr. Evans? Yeah, I don't have any, uh, any comments to add. Dr. Starr? Uh, I'd go with skin irritation. I'd go with skin irritation, headaches, and the potential adverse effects from electrical stimulation of the brain. Dr. Cotamal? I would suggest omitting a potential risk of seizures and uh, blurred vision. Skin irritation, headaches, vertigo, depending on placement of electrodes. I think that's it. Dr. Good. Yeah, I, I agree with the skin, uh, skin irritation. I don't think the risk of seizures is, is real. Um, and I'm not sure about the potential adverse effects. I guess the animal data would be helpful in that regard, which we really haven't reviewed in detail. Um, but uh, uh, perhaps uh, potential risk of seizures, dizziness, maybe, I'm sorry, oh, 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 sorry, take it back, skin irritations, headaches, and um, possibly dizziness. Dr. Yang? I agree completely with Dr. Good. Skin irritation, headaches, and dizziness. Dr. Ria? I'd like to concur with the rest of the panel. I'd sort of like to emphasize that I think that for the first, for worsening of the condition, criteria, I think that more longitudinal studies need to be done to look at patient populations who are or are not using other adjunctive treatments or more traditional pharmacotherapies for the condition in order to determine whether or not that's true. Dr. Steen. Yes, skin irritation, headaches, and dizziness. So that uh, I get the uh, um, sense that the panel is in, in pretty good consensus here that skin irritation, headaches, maybe dizziness, uh, worsening of the condition certainly is a very concerning thing, um, but probably it will require longitudinal studies if we really want to look at that, and very importantly, probably is addressed uh, by having the device used under the supervision uh, of, a, of a physician or someone following the case. So my sense is that um, uh, this does not seem to be a complete and accurate list of the most significant risks.